welcome to another edition of The Watchman, a show dedicated to finding actors and the facts behind the news and reporting to you. We do this every week because we are your watchman. My name is Efo Senyu. Before we introduce you to the topic, let's go for a quick commercial break. When we return, we'll start the show. Do you want to build your dream home? From land acquisition to finishing anywhere in Ghana. Do you want to revive the life and beauty of your old house? Do you have any property in Ghana that you want it managed for, for side income? Then look no further. Send Call Global Developers Limited is at your service. We offer the following services at affordable rate. Building construction, renovation works, electrical engineering, biofuel digester construction, building plant drawing, sales of land and houses, supply of construction materials. We also give you the opportunity to invest in our properties. Call or WhatsApp us on 0201-950-509 or email us on info at senkoglobal.com. You can also visit our website at www.senkoglobal.com. Locate us at the first floor of the Adenta Shopping Center. Senko Developers, building for generation. Thank you very much and you are welcome back to The Watchman on VTV. My name is Efo Koshi Senyu. Today, we are just looking at a news on uh, allegation of demolition exercise by six armed police officers in mask, uh, led, um, uh, led by one Mr. Maswell Ajay Ado. And we've gone to the site to speak with the foreman on the site. Let's listen to that interview. Okay. 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 And baby, baby. 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 And it in Bedu, you know, me go so I meet your pictures in Nana, me who say one of Guy Marco, or Banami Bissanza. Then, no, I will be good and you will know who now to be her own movie beside or through or ha. Oh, who say police for police for police for Monsieur Police uniform. Oh, no, Monsieur Max, I'm good, dear, I'm good to you, and the pieces into an opera question. I'm say na you didn't dinner, more police for them, boo, and I'm going to say, I'm going to go. Entity Okay. police 
Okay, well, you have heard what the foreman has said, and according to him, yesterday about 9 p.m., he had a call from a security man over here telling him that the wall that they came to construct that was saturday and sunday morning have been pulled down and the information he was also giving was that there were police men who were actually the one that undertook the demolition exercise six police officers six armed police officers and according to him these police officers were wearing masks they were hooded wearing masks so they could not even identify the policemen and they also alleged that the policemen the six police armed officers were accompanied by one mr maxwell ado who accompanied them and they came to do the demolition exercise now a little background of the issue is that uh, this master uh, Maxwell Ado has been having some, you know, legal battle with the Maryville estate owner with respect to this particular land. And as to why he has led this demolition, allegedly led this demolition exercise, we are here to find out. But the hooded police officers or the mass armed police officers were coming from before they undertook the demolition exercise is yet unknown and as to whether or not these police officers had a court order to come and execute here is also yet unknown we will be speaking to Maxwell uh, Ado to also respond to the allegation good morning sir good morning yes my name is Kosi Senyo editor of awake newspaper Am I please speaking with Mr. Ajay Ado? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, I'm following up on a story that your name uh, was mentioned. So I would like to find out if you have some three minutes for us to have a brief discussion. Yes, please. Okay. So there's this an allegation that on Sunday around 8 yes. p.m., you led um, a group of six armed and hooded police officers to demolish a war in Maryville Estate. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So. You know, you okay. know the story. No place. Okay. Um, what I advise, if you want your peace, I'll tell you the story. But I'm telling you that don't try and make it into the news. Otherwise, your paper, the newspaper will be sued for a huge sum of money. Okay. Okay, let me tell you the story. Um, about 20 years ago, I bought that piece of land from a woman from the company. Okay. Uh-huh. Any time I want to develop it, you come up with your excuse. You can't build a wall. You can't build it. I wanted to build. So uh, so it has been back and forth. Okay. Then, what happened was to 2016, mm -hmm. we went to court. And the court told her to, to give me an inventor. Okay. The court that you can ask for, um, 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 the, the court, um, this thing, uh, the judgment. Okay. It placed an injunction on her not to step on the land. Okay. Uh huh. I tried, even with the um, injunction on her, 
when I tried to develop the world, uh, to build the world, she came uh, stop me. You understand? Yes, I'm with you. Even with the cost behind me. Huh? So I told her that if you don't allow me to build my world, then you can't also build it because you guys, even if you go there, in fact, the police are supposed to arrest you. You are supposed to be arrested. The man police. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's the nearest police. So when she started building, we, 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 I, I went to break the wall, expecting the, the, the police to come for me because I am a civil, I mean, person with everything. But the police know that I have tickets on the land, and that land is mine. So they couldn't even arrest me. Okay. <coughs> then, so, uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay. Okay, so if the case is in court and uh, per what you are saying, that is the fact of the matter, why was it that you did not alert the, the court or informing the court that this is what the woman is doing on the land despite the injunction and you also mobilize armed police officers to go and cause the demolition? No, what I'm finding out is that you stated yes, clearly yes, that yes, the case is in court. To you. Let okay. Me something to you. Okay. There are two, two different houses in the East Testing. Okay. And the woman built when the case was in court. The construction work has been complete. The case is in court. Okay. You understand? Yes. So if you want to, if you want to do the uh, illegal, I also go the illegal way. But in, in fact, in this one. The armed police that I sent to, I went to property, the property, the fraud um, unit at the property, uh, police headquarters. Okay. So is the, the it, of officials that came to demolish the wall together with you were yes, from the property it, fraud it, office at police headquarters? No, let, let me tell you what happened. Okay. They weren't, they weren't masked. They weren't masked. There was, well, I don't have to even disclose this to you. They weren't masked. There was one person who um, um, sometimes come to work in the area. So um, he was afraid they might uh, see who he is. And he went, well, my, the police were not matched. So you see some of these things, if you, what I'm saying is, if you want the judgment that gives me the power to, um, to go to the police, I can send you a copy. No, so so, to, so uh, the, the judgment gave you an order that you should demolish the wall. The government tells me in order that anyone who steps on my land is an encroacher. So, anyone who steps on the land has encroached on my land property. But you also said the same case is being challenged at the Court of Appeal. If is that not the case? If, if, if you are challenging the case in court, the existing judgment is what holds until the, um, the case goes through. The, so, so, so I was, I was, you know what? I was thinking you could rather cite, you could let your lawyers you don't cite no, you, them no, for contempt. No, no, no. What I'm telling you is, mm. if you want the judgment, that I have a copy. I problem. have a copy of the judgment. Okay, so if you like, if you if you want to destroy your career as a journalist or your company, just go ahead and publish it. That's no, the point I'm giving to you. No, no. <laughs> so forget what I'm telling you. Don't come and argue with me. No. Why didn't she go to the police and she's going to the press? Don't try and uh, do this because what I'm saying is, I'll sue you. No, I went to the I went to the police. I I went to the police, made a follow up uh -huh. to the police. Do you okay. get it? But because your uh -huh. name is mentioned, it's fair that I hear your side of the story. That's well, exactly I'm why. The land belongs to me. I have received the everything to prove it, and based on that, I have a, a, a court a, a court a judgment from from the high court. That okay, in, in a copy, uh, in the judgment. Uh, stated that there was a this side plan that you filed. Look, 
which uh, was purported uh, uh, yeah which uh, was purported to be you know um done for you somewhere around 2014 and the court judgment the judge clearly stated that that particular you know um site plan that you you filed in your affidavits on page 11 that it was given to you by the company couldn't have been the case because the company repossessed the land four so, years so, before you filed so, the document uh -huh. Okay. So no. So so the the same case. Uh, are there two judgments that your judgment is different from uh, her judgment? Um, Okay. Maxwell J. Addo mm -hmm. versus Maryview Homes Limited. Okay. Mm. Look, I'm with it. Sorry? Is it the full title? The full title? Yes. Yeah, okay. So a sweet number LD slash 0453 slash 16. Plaintiff. Okay. Plaintiff Maxwell Ajay Addo versus Maryville Home Limited as the defendant. Then the judgment. Yeah, so that, that's the judgment that I have. Have you read the whole thing? Yes, I did. You haven't, if you have read the whole thing, you wouldn't have even called me. No. You haven't read the whole thing. No, what, know, what I'm, what I'm, the reason, <coughs> the reason. You know what? No, the reason. Let me explain something to you. Okay. Um, um, have you even gone to the last page? The last page. Yes. Yes. And what did the last page say? The and whole page. The auto, oh, okay, so so judgment. yeah, so point then it out to judgment. me. Then we read it together. But page seven is the last page, not so. Yes, please. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is that the plaintiff went into possession? I'm I'm reading the. Yeah, but the, the last the last two paragraphs. Yes, the last two paragraphs. Yes. The plaintiff went into possession of the land by constructing a wooden structure and putting a caretaker in charge. That the defendant owed a and defendant owed a corresponding obligation to the plaintiff to fulfill its agreement by just by transferring legal title to the subject matter of the sale to the plaintiff. It would be unjust. For the defendant put on to the purchase price while depriving the plaintiff of the fruits of his investment, I hereby order the defendant to execute a deed of deed of conveyance covering the land in dispute to the plaintiff forthwith. Have you heard that? Yes, sure. Uh huh. The plaintiff it for damages for trespass, having regard to the undisputed evidence. The defendant's possible re-entry into the land in dispute and destruction of the wooden structure placed on the land by the plaintiff. A damage of 8,000 will be awarded in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is hereby perpetually restrained from interfering in the of the land in dispute. Having regards to the length of the trial and the cost of legal representation, the cost of 5000 has been awarded against the defendant in favor of the plaintiff. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm with yes. you, sir. Uh, so, <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes, so, I, I, that, what I'm asking is whether the demolition exercise that took place was the court order, was an order from the court. Why you, you see, your point is you don't understand the law. You are a journalist. What I've no. to you is, no, no, listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, but I'm I, know, saying, sir, I know, I know I'm not a lawyer, I'm a journalist. But I understand, I've been following court processes. Give it to your lawyer to read it for you. Sir. Please don't have to publish my story, yes. Yeah, sir, what I'm trying to find out is that 
was this particular judgment executed and for which you based on to do the demolition exercise? That is what I wanted to know. When, when, when a court gives an order, the judgment, for instance, pass a judgment, I understand that the judgment has to be served on the other parties and that the question of the judgment is done. And in an event that a party fails to comply with the judgment, it becomes a contempt of court. So in the Ma case... Maria is in contempt. She's been contempt since no. 2000. Okay. No, listen. She's in contempt now. The thing is, it's just now your wall in your house. Someone comes to break it. The first place to go is the police station before you go to court. What I'm saying is, secondly, if someone is coming to erect a wall on your land and it's yours, you won't wait and stand and say, hey, I'm going to court. You stop the person from erecting the, um, the wall. Then later you start your court process. Uh, no, but... Does that not mean taking the law into your own hand? Because okay. per my per my little knowledge is that in situations like that, you let the court do the work. Because with this document you are referring me to, means that the matter now is before, between the court and the, the defendant. Since the court has ordered that, that uh, proper, the property or the container on the you know, land be removed. So in the event that the plaintiff, the defendant fails to comply with the orders of the court, it's an issue between the court and the, the defendant. Is that not so? Look, talk to you. show this uh, uh, court to me and let him explain to you so that if you dare publish this thing and you bring my name into it, you'll be surprised. No, sir, the, no, sir, sir, for... No, no, look, I, I'm not... I don't have the, uh, this thing to argue with you. Someone has come to uh, give you uh, take your time and listen to my time. And don't try and argue to me as if we are in court. I'll show you the court rule and say, read the few pages of it. Just now, she has been told, it's been restrained from saying my land. Haven't you been restrained? Yeah, uh, it is, say, uh, sir. I, I stand aloof. Sir, uh, is, is this know, judgment, is this judgment not uh, the one that they have appealed against. If you have appealed against my judgment, if you go to build on my wall, you go to uh, 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 build. So, so is that not a matter between the defendant and the court? Especially if you bring this particular issue of he, the case being in court, and she has gone ahead to, you know, erect a wall on the land is that not a matter of contempt that should be brought uh, you know before or to the attention of the court for the court to give an order that Look, <laughs> hello yes sir don't, don't don't talk to me as if you are standing in court and defending things Look, two people they are cases in court she built on their land i'm saying that as far as you don't respect the court I will not respect you. Then because the thing is, I had this ruling in 2016. I was waiting patiently for you to give me my indenture. Now you have fled the country because you know that I, w I was going to institute, initiate a, a, a contempt proceedings against you. You fled the country and you've allowed your operatives to come and build on the land. Can I, you, you, I, I keep quiet and look at you. So, I'm telling you, this is a court matter, so please. So, finally, long, long, so, so, so finally, if you want to publish anything, if you want to publish anything, talk to your lawyer and let your lawyer interpret to you. Because if you publish anything and I give to my lawyer, I'll, I'll, I'll sue you. No, the, 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 the threat, the, those threats have not come in yet. This is a matter I'm following and I'm, I want your side of the story. But just that no, I want to clarify to things. You need to read to understand the judgment. You wouldn't have even called me. Sir, you I have... To to, because, look, the police was... We get this thing to I, the police headquarters. Sir, I have clearly... Sir, I have clearly read the judgment and even quoted parts where the judge said that the side plan you filed, okay, which is Maxwell... All, Maxwell Ajay Addo and... All you are and Mrs. Don't and Mrs. Gifty Ajay Ado. Okay. Look, that is all you are saying. You are, you are calling the side plan. Read whether the judgment, the judgment, the judge, the judgment, the 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 the, 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 the judge did. Yes, I I read the judgment, and you you tabled in some documents. 
Hello. Because she wasn't going to use the site plan because the site plan was an earlier, what was a later. Uh, you also always you not giving evidence. Ah, what are you talking about? It's Hello. It's not right to understand. You keep saying the site plan, the site plan, the site plan. No, but I. The site plan, she didn't need to be included in the judgment. And you're saying you read the thing. No, it's it's well, included in the I judgment. Come, I have come to to work here this morning. Okay. Please let a lawyer read so that you would understand. Okay. Don't try and uh, interpret it the way you are doing, and don't come and question me as oh, a competent judge. What I'm telling you, if you want to understand the judgment, go and give it to a lawyer for the lawyer to. But don't come and ask me these questions. And I'm saying that if you try to talk me. I'm going to sue you. So no. the fine that they pay to you to do the story, I'm telling you that you are going to forfeit it. To find out if that, <laughs> if I was just trying to find out if the demolition exercise you did was a court order, was done on orders of the court, and why, why, why was why was the exercise done in the night? It was because it happened, and I came in the night, and I did it in the night. The first time I did the demolition, it was the day when I got to work. When I got from work, I was told, and I went to demolish the first time. This one, I came, I came, I tried, I tried, and came to in the night. If I had come in the morning, I would have done it in the morning. Okay, so night. so you filed the case at the property fraud unit at the headquarters, and they gave you the six police officers. Is that right? You know what? Hello. Hello, sir. I will consider with this conversation. So you have heard the long interview which is actually over 30 minutes interview I had with Mr. Maswell Ajay Ado, but I just played part to you, you've heard. Now, I quickly call um, Madam Mariam O'Sullivan, who is currently based in Dubai. The first question I put to her was that, why is it that she actually appealed in the case of Mr. Maswell Ajay Ado and Maryville Estate, yet she has gone ahead to actually start a war on the parcel of land or the disputed land what she told me was that that particular judgment made no reference to any specific land under dispute and her justification was that at the time that um, she has sold the land to mr and mrs ajay ado which is two plots of land they have refused to sign a lease agreement saying that uh, there are some components of the agreement which they do not agree with and for that matter they will not sign and according to maria o'sullivan mrs ajay ado told her that she um, uh, uh, mrs ajay ado is actually a lawyer and for that matter she was going to draft their own agreement for maria osuliva to sign but maria said that she has declined that offer and this made them inability to actually take possession of the land document so at the time that mr maso ajay ado was filing the case in court he actually had no document to show rather he had tended in a site plan which happened to be a site plan they themselves created and not a site plan she has given to them because she hasn't given any document covering the land to them according to her immediately they paid for the land the two plots of land they started developing one now the other plot of land which is now the the center of the dispute uh, the couples actually erected a wooden structure on do, uh, that particular parcel of land and then that wooden structure were occupied by the relatives of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ajay Adu and according to her they were selling Banku and uh, Akpetesi in that is alcohol in the estate in that wooden structure so it took her a very long time and it took the intervention of the assembly to be able to remove uh, those structures and also evict those occupants of those wooden structures. Now, according to her, because she didn't give them the site, that particular site plan, and the court detected that the site plan that Mr. Ajay Ado had exhibited in his witness statement on page 11, the court said that 
that particular site plan couldn't have been given to him, Mr. Ajay Addo, in 2014, when in fact the defendant, which is Maryville Estate, had taken possession of the land in 2010. The court also said that Mr. Ajay Addo, which is the plaintiff, might have created that particular site plan himself in contemplation of litigation. Meanwhile, Mr. Ajay Addo stated in uh, his witness statement on page 11 that that particular site plan was given to them by uh, Maryville Estate. So that is why Madam uh, O'Sullivan said that no, because the document, the, the judgment never made any specific reference to any land. She is going ahead to take, you know, to erect walls to protect the land she has actually repossessed in 2010. Those were some of the, you know, uh, response from Maria O'Sullivan. Now, it will interest you also to know that Maria O'Sullivan has also filed a petition to the police calling for the arrest of Mr. Uh, Ajay Addo, alleging that he had engaged in forgery and perjury, meaning that this, that particular side plan that he told the court that was given to him by her company, which is Maryville Estate, is actually not true, which the court has even found out itself that is not true. And also, since he had done that under oath, meaning he had committed perjury and that he should be arrested. Now, the other leg of the case is when this wall was demolished. According to Maria O'Sullivan, when the wall started, they actually started erecting the wall somewhere about last two weeks or last three weeks. And Mr. J. Addo broke the wall. After they uh, uh, demolished the first wall, now the wife of uh, Mr. J. Addo, which is Mrs. J. Addo, went to file a complaint against her company herself and her PA, who is Parkwesi Okanse at Manet Police Station, saying that they have trespassed on their land. And according to Maria O. Sullivan, the police, the Manet Police, invited um, them, that is, the lawyers of the company and then the couples. But at that meeting, the, um, uh, the couples could not produce any document. Because of that, they had no option that to go ahead with this particular exercise. So, on 27th of March, they have started reconstructing the, uh, the fence wall. Now, after the reconstruction, which, which they finished on 28th, on Sunday, then Mr. Maswell Ajay Addo, now, like you heard him in the interview, he said he brought the police officers from the uh, police headquarters after a case had been filed. Uh, of trespass at the police headquarters and the information our investigation revealed that during the day Mr. Ajay Addo actually brought these armed officers to his house and when it was late around 8 30 p.m. they now came out to actually engage in the demolition exercise. This is a developing story. Tomorrow we will continue with more detail and more revealing about this particular story. My name is Fukushi Senyu. Have a good night.